Right, here we go. Good afternoon, party people. My name is Flores. I'm from oneandmoreblog.com, where we run CMI version 9 on paper 1.17.1. And throughout the years, we've had a forced, mandatory, always in the inventory menu star. But we've removed it. However, the menus are still there for the people that are used to it. Anybody can type menu, which is a Boss Shop Pro menu, where your mouse ends up in the middle on the home button, which is really cool. However, this isn't anything. This is everything, sort of. Um, you can also look at all your homes, or you can check out all the warps, or all the kits available to you, or even check out all the worlds. So over time, this update, so we have spawn and then we have our general worlds. Then we have some other custom worlds, including sky block, one block and everything. However, because they are separate menus and we just link them together, we can go back. Of course, we can go forward and we can select something, which is pretty cool. But we can also say if somebody types slash worlds or whatever, the right command is they could end up here. So for example, we also have skyblock menu, which loads specific commands for just that world. So you can go to skyblock, um, you can get info about the worlds. We can also pop up that menu. Um, we can also do uh, skyblock menu, and that goes back to this one. So we've used CMI, Skyblock, individual plugin menus, and Bosch Pro menu to build all of this. And they go back and back until you're at the front again. So of course, kits will show all the kits. Now I gotta go here. Warps will show all the warps. Uh, homes will show all the homes, which is kind of nice. Um, we have a market. Of course, the auction house. We also have additional shops like a warp shop, point shop, a jobs point shop, uh, the market, a head shop that we're working on. Pretty nifty. Um, let's see. Boop. There we go. Let's see what else do we have. So besides all these shops, oh, even spawners. So you can do spawners. And then you can see all the spawners here, but you can also get there through the shop menu. So that's pretty nifty. All right, let's go back here. We have our achievements for everything from the advanced achievements, including the top months and other stats and info. We have hunting, doesn't work anymore. Uh, we have MC top, MC rank and MC stats, and also bell top probably. Yep, there we go. Um, we have to work on that one. That's an old one, but it's still there. Uh, talking about MCMMO, the MC stats and everything, we have our own MCMMO menu, which is pretty nifty, where you can see the top players, your rank and statistics, and then stuff per skill, including a toggle for the scoreboard and other information, which is pretty, pretty handy. All right, Get, talking about your own information, we have a button for your money. I'm getting hammered by a cow or something. Um, where MC stats will, uh, from, um, CMI stats will actually show up with loads of information that is really handy for players. So that's our menu. We also have random teleports. So when you're in our general world, you can type RTP, but people that explore the menu they're like wait you can randomly teleport that's cool um so that works like i said we have home and we have perks where you can uh, turn on some of your uh, cool little perks the cosmetics that people really like so that's kind of nice but you can also get there through perk so using Bosch pro using cmi and all the GUIs from all these plugins, we've made our own little menu. It's not ideal, it's not perfect, but it's there and players can use it because not everything is super, super obvious to all the players. Um, when they join the server, however, 
they get a CMI kit newbie. They get um, a book for new player, which has information in it. Uh, they can go through all of that stuff and all the items have like additional info. So what, oh, well, not all the items I see, <laughs> but they get the information they need in order to navigate the server. And um, not only that, we also have the CMI signs here that actually show you that you can type new player but you can also right click it and it will open up that stuff so when they explore here they will see that there is stuff going on and then they're like hey one block that's exactly what i want and then they get teleported to their one block island if it doesn't exist so what's not in the menu is on signs at spawn and what's not in the signs at spawn is in the menu at least and throughout tips and other things in the game, I don't think one passed by I can demo it. Oh, here it is. One MB tip. Every once in a while through CMI scheduler, a tip shows up that, uh, oh, you can have so many chests in your shop and all that stuff. So we're also teaching people these types of commands as they play. And of course, when they do message of the day, when they log in, they learn about their account and the rules. And the account and rules is actually the same thing, but this is page one and, uh, oh no, wait a minute, it's not the same thing, my bad. The account is actually hidden on one of the other pages. So here is page one and this is page two and then page three is our social information. So through actually reading, people can actually learn a lot on the server and I love that we can use CMI to put it all together, that we can use a graphical user interface, a GUI like Bosho Pro that helps us manage all these files or all these interfaces. And then when we connect all of that stuff together, we actually end up with something fun. So instead of doing home home, you could have an item in your inventory that brings you back home right away and you can start your little adventure. So we are doing what we can do and it's open for improvement. However, it is so easy to do because CMI has a built-in alias editor, the command editor, it has built-in locali editor, kit editor, warp editor, everything has a GUI itself. Uh, you can customize how your um, homes look like, you can set the block that you want, um, all sorts of stuff and you can, in the file system at least, update the, the, the menus through Bosho Pro and then just do an in-game reload and everything is up to date again. So every once in a while, I'll just go and update one of these menu pages. For example, MCMMO, did it have rank in the past? Now it does. And next time it will also have a lore about what sorts or fishing is, which you can do with it. And in the beginning, it didn't even have any clickable buttons, but now it actually links to it as well. So over time, using all these little features, all these little commands, all these plugins, letting it work together, we are ending up with a menu that is hopefully fun to explore and commands that are easy, somewhat easy to learn and features that make it fun for players to play. And that's not me saying, hey, come play on my server. This is not an advertisement for that. This is me saying, I'm so happy that there are modern tools like Bosho Pro, although it could use an update, and CMI, uh, which is feature rich, and all these other little plugins that let me build a server the way that I want. And every server is different. Maybe the other server has a forced menu item with item join command uh, plugin. Maybe another server has nothing and then all the commands are disabled and there is only a Bosch or Pro menu and then CMI behind the scenes. So the flexibility, how dynamic it is, is really handy and cool and in my opinion, worth paying for. So this is, because people ask, that's why I make this video. This is how I use one app for menus that connects other menus from other features like CMI Warp or CMI Home or maybe something from MCMMO all together into a menu that is reachable by player one way or another and hopefully somewhat fun to explore and provokes them to come and play again and again and again. So that's it. I wanted to show that and yes, you see this correctly. We are playing on a snapshot and this is 1.18, the first snapshot. 
and it's working on our server. Jack is here, TP Jack. Let's say hi to Jack. Oh my God. Hi Jack, hello. <laughs> I probably scared the bejesus out of him. Sup, sup. Yep, 118 works. Uh, we're not a 118 server, but a lot of the stuff is already there in 117 and you can connect with the snapshots and check out how that works for you. Once 118 is actually out as a server through Spigot or Paper or whatever, we will obviously try to upgrade and introduce a cool world while keeping this one because we never delete worlds. And thanks to things like uh, plugin developers that keep things current, we can keep running the server. So uh, C Rips from CMI, thank you so much for helping me with running a server by making a plugin that takes care of things. Bye.